Hello, yes, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV. Back on the 16 solo with a brand new camera angle. Yeah, we're looking at stick cam. Um, this is under the banner of making a video about hand movements. So if you want to know how I am controlling the main sheet and the tiller extension and everything else, you've come to the right place. Let's go. Okay, so we're just gonna get the boat going on a close reach, maybe a beam reach, and then we'll start arcing it up, see what we can find. It's quite a good amount of wind already, probably about 18 knots. Okay, so going out on the trapeze, main sheet in the front hand, stick in the back hand. I'm just in this half hanging position, and then I'm just gonna control the boat as I go out, nice and steady. Okay, and then for sailing along, I've just got the main sheet most of the time uncleated, especially on the reaches. And then you can see I've got this half gripped position where I'm holding the main sheet in the stick hand like this. And I could sail like that all day. So if I needed to adjust the jib, I'd stand on the hull, lean in, grab a jib sheet, adjust the jib with the other hand, and then I'll leave the jib sheet quite nearby, and then off we go again. Okay, so then we're taking her off the wind. All right, so this is where the fun is really gonna start on the Joyrider TV special speed run. So still main sheet and stick, opposite hands, main sheet uncleated. I'll crank him in. The cleat's just gripping it so that I could get another handful there. Bit of a gust coming, ready to sheet out. So I'm just letting that slip through my hand, using my hand as a clutch. So as I let it out, I'm not letting out loads in one go. I'm just letting out, here's a gust, good example. Letting out a little bit and just kind of feathering it as I let it out, like so. All right, so now we're gonna take the boat onto more of a broad reach. So I'm getting right to the back, sheeting in for a bit more power. Every time I sheet in, taking it out of the cleat, not quite enough wind there. So I'm coming back forwards for the lighter wind. And then when I'm grabbing another handful of main sheet, I'm just doing that with the thumb and index finger and then holding the stick just with the other three fingers of the hand. Nice. Here's a good gust, so we're gonna go for it. Getting to the back, we're ready and we're bearing away. Where's the wind? Yeah, so I'm just using the thumb and index finger to grab the rope. We could use, do it the other way round and use the thumb and index finger on the stick and then the other three fingers to grab the rope like that. Whatever is more convenient. And to be honest, when it's all going on, you don't always have the chance to think about it. Yeah, so there's the three fingers on the rope, two fingers on the stick, and on the fast reach, I'm just trying to sheet in as much as I can, as much for time as possible. All right, so that's done. We're gonna come in off the trapeze. So what I'm gonna do, so using that clutch technique again, quite a juicy gust there. I'm gonna put the main sheet in the stick hand as I was doing just then. So then I can use the handle to help come in back in. And there we are. All right, let's flip it. Let's turn this bad boy around, see how we do it going the other way. All right, let's see if we can cook some chicken here. All right. 
right. So same thing again. Big gust coming. I'm getting to the back. Wipe in the lens. Here comes the biggest gust of the day so far. Let's see what she's got for us. Just cranking in as much as I can. I'm using the little finger, the three fingers on the rope at the moment, and the two fingers on the stick. In fact, I think that is what I do more of the time. A bit more. Where's the breeze? There it is. Oh my goodness. That was a hidden gust. Woo! Go. Some funky old wind here today. It's because the wind's only just come in. It's only just started blowing. So it's usually a little bit volatile at this time. And then with the excess main sheet, going back to rope management, I'm just, every time I've sheeted in, if there's rope all over the place, I'm just flicking it around my front leg to sort of keep most of it out of the water. And that seems to work pretty well. Well, that's the best method I've found. Okay, we've done 22 knots there. That's pretty good. All right, gonna start to bring her back uphill a little bit. So I'm going forwards. As I go forwards, we can sheet in a bit more. Okay, lovely. Okay, this video is being powered by the Melcheski Composites Pro Joyrider tiller extension, as I'm sure you have spotted or the eagle-eyed ones of you have spotted that thanks very much to martin for sorting us out with possibly the finest piece of steering apparatus i've ever had the pleasure to use so i've got for this video i've got that hero 8 on the stick because i was thinking maybe a bit more stabilization is going to help got the session on the boom and the seven on the head very nice too and we're just going past the ship coco bean i dare say there'll be some funky wind here so let's see what happens i've taken a wide stance Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. all right and it's gonna gust pretty hard Maybe a bit of a shift. Whew, made it. All right, Coco Bean.